exercise many years ago and I got hooked. I just started feeling better. Exercising makes me feel good and it helped me not just physically but also mentally and at the end of the day I had more energy and that um, you know, it was life-changing. There are so many benefits to exercise that I really hope, uh, my wish is that there's one that will work for you or one that will help motivate you and that you stick with it. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna start with just standing and doing some ball work. If you're at home, you can use a little child's ball or any kind of ball you have. You can do it sitting or standing and here we go. To the right. And to the left, around to the left. And open the chest. So these are really nice exercises that you could do in the morning and you don't have to even use a ball. Kim's showing us how to do it without a ball. So. <laughs> And then above your head for the shoulders, like so. And then we'll get tricky and we'll come around and come up. We're going to the left right now, around to the left. And then we're gonna go the other way, around to the right. And then we're gonna give it five good tosses. So one, two, three, four, and five, nice job. Knee up, one, two, three, four, other side. Underneath, right? Two, three, four, left. Frankenstein, right? Two more. <laughs> Frankenstein left. Now hold it in your right hand and cross. One, two, three, four. Touch your heel back in a one. These are actually kind of fun to do. All right, we're going to put it in the left hand and cross. One more and then heel comes back and cross over. We like that cross, anytime we can cross. Let's do two more. All right, ball in the right hand, elbow comes to the knee and watch Kim too, because you can do it without a ball. And one, out to the side, two. To the other side, that's your oblique. and on your belly. All right, so you're gonna go on your belly and I'm gonna have your forehead come down and they're gonna lift their upper bodies, keeping their neck in nice neutral position and the ball's gonna go around their back. So Kim's upper body is up off the mat and she's transferring that ball around. Three more. Neck down a little bit, everybody. Yep, there you go, beautiful, Becky, that was great. And switch, other way. So again, her upper body is off the mat. You can see that she's using her low back, she's using her glutes, her core, and her shoulders. Three more. Good, Claire, two. And one, nice work. Left hand under your forehead, right arm out. Right hand, left leg. So this is Dodie. And as she lifts her arm, she's lifting her leg. And the one thing I'd like you to notice at home if you're doing this is that they're straight. She's not bending. She's lifting it straight up as is Claire from the hip. Okay? Six left, six. Good peg. Five, those look beautiful. Four, three, two, and other side for 12. So we try to do what we do on one side, on the other, one, nice. Two, both of Kim's hips are firmly on the mat. She's not lifting one side or the other, 
her neck is in a beautiful neutral position, how I can tell is that there's no wrinkles back there. You know, if she was like this, there would be. So her neck's in good position. Five more, five, four, three, two, and ball between the inner thighs and roll to your left side, please. So again, if you're doing these at home, you could use a small pillow or a child's ball. You could use just about anything. Legs out straight. Okay, Kim's gonna stay on her side and lift both legs in 12, 11, 10. This isn't as easy as it looks. It's a little harder than you think, but Claire's got it, okay? Two more. One left, Claire and stop. Now, put the ball in this hand, the top arm, and push yourself up just a little on your hand. And as you push up on your arm, your top leg's gonna come up and hit it with the ball. Okay, so there goes Peg, there's Dodie. Yeah, this is good, right here. So reach, reach, she's working right through there. Okay, so you see some variation. It looks wonderful. Four more. Four, three, two, and onto your back before we go to the other side. All right, we're gonna make it a little harder for you. Ball's gonna be in the right hand. Arms are straight up in front of your chest up here. Legs are straight up. Then I'm gonna ask you to engage your core and lift your shoulders off. All right. As the legs open, the ball transfers from one side to the other. So you're just gonna move that ball from one. There you go, Kim. So it's open and closed. And if you notice, she's not straining her neck. She's not just pulling her neck up. She's using those beautiful core muscles here. And you can see that they're actually working. They're actually tight. Four left, four. Now, if you're at home and your neck is doing all the work, then just go ahead, I'm gonna have Claire put her head down and just put your head down, right? And tuck your chin in just a little bit and stop, beautiful. Other side, ball between the thighs. Okay, we're gonna get 12 of them. And lift, double leg, lift one, good. Two. Um, if you're at home and you avoid all floor work, you could still sit in the chair and put the ball in between your inner thighs and just squeeze that ball, which is an excellent exercise for the inner thighs. You know, or if you wanna to try to lay down, you can use your chair to push you back up again. Two more. And stop, onto your backs. Okay, this is called the ball transfer. And what they're gonna do is have the ball behind their head and their legs bent, and they're gonna curl up and put the ball between their feet and then come back down again. So the ball comes up between their feet and then they come down. So you can see she's making like this little accordion. She's coming in and using those abdominal muscles and then coming back out again. In, that's it, Claire. And you wanna lift your shoulders if you can, but if you can't, you just keep them down. Beautiful, Dodie. How about two more for me? One more, and then an all-time favorite, okay? You're gonna turn over onto your hands and knees. If you need to, you can make a bump for your knees. Um, sometimes the floors are ho hard at home or in a gym, so you can see Kim is kind of putting a little bump there. Right arm out, Kim. Left leg out, right arm, left leg. Now, this is really nice. Hips are level. Heads in neutral, arms out. And I'm gonna have her just lift both of them. One, two, three, four. Beautiful, Claire. Dodie, that's excellent. I love how the neck is staying in neutral. They're doing slow, they're doing, they're doing everything right, and their core is really working. Other side. Now, Dodie has really good balance. Dodie is also doing yoga, something else that we recommend at least once a week if you can. Dodie, I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes. 
So when she closes her eyes, a whole nother sense comes out and does it make it a little more, yes, it makes it a little more challenging, which is great again for your balance. How about four more, three more, two more, one more and stop, good. All right, we're gonna do two more exercises on the hands and knees. All right, the next one's going to be the elbow coming over towards the knee and reaching out. This again works these oblique muscles on the side. So if you notice, it's her elbow that comes to the knee. And this is very advanced, what Kim is doing. If you can't get the elbow all the way over there, you just fake it, you know? You just don't come as far, that's okay. Let's see, Claire, do you wanna try closing your eyes? It's hard, isn't it? Yeah, so Claire is trying to close her eyes. It's a very challenging exercise, two more. And switch, all right. Do you feel your core, Kim, when you're doing? Okay, so what's nice about this versus when she was on her back is now nothing is happening to her neck. So if her neck would happen to be stronger and kind of take over for this area, it can't. It's in a perfectly neutral position. So if you're at home and you're having some neck issues, try this. Two more, Claire. One more. Um, thank you so much. All right. Let's set the balls off to the side and forearms down. All right, so here I am, and I'm just going to lift up, and I'm going to pull my shoulders down, and right now I can actually feel a stretch in my lower back. It feels wonderful. I am tightening up my glutes a little, and I'm going to release. My hands shift, and I push up, and I'm going to roll down and come back up again. And it's called a cat and cow, and you're just gonna arch your back up, and then release and tip your head up. Okay, so arch your back, yep, there you go. Ooh, this feels good, 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 good. If you could do like a only a couple things every day, and you could actually even do these in bed, get on your forearms and do that one we just did, and then push up like this, Okay, and then Dodie's gonna move her knees apart a little and go into what's called a child's pose. Watch her go back. Yeah. And Dodie's pretty flexible, so her forehead is down, her hips are down, and this is another excellent one to do um, in your bed if you would like. And if you can't get your head all the way down, you can just use your fists and prop up your, your upper body, which is perfectly good too. All right. Release and press the hips up towards the ceiling for a down dog. So Kim is now pushing back. She's taking her chest and pushing it back towards her thighs, lifting her hips nice and high. Her hands are spread apart. Her heels are up. And I'm gonna have her play with her heels a little bit and just kind of pad up and down, up and down. So you can do them one at a time or two at a time, like Claire is, whichever way you want. And it should feel pretty good. All right, stay there for a second and walk your hands in towards your feet. Fold your arms up over your head and just hang. So the knees are bent. She's taking the weight off that spine, the knees are bent, and then when she's ready, she's just gonna start rolling up really slow. Watch this, this is just wonderful. It's like a, like a butterfly, like a cocoon turning into a butterfly. She comes up slow, look at the spine. Up, 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 and then last is her neck, and let's reach up, reach way up. And then lean back. and release. Feet apart. It's going to be an inhale and an exhale whoosh, and an inhale and an exhale whoosh. One more time. Inhale and exhale and thank you so much. We hope you come back again. Thank you.